Hello and good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to another great episode of HQTV Shafter High School's news source. My name is Isaac Carrillo. And I'm Maddie Tays, and today is May 27th, and here's what's going on in our general community. Students, don't forget to check the lost and found located in the Dean's office if you guys are missing something. And make sure to clean your lockers out before the end of the school year. Seniors, you should, probably should have already done this. You're probably not even going to see this. They will be cleaned out after school and on Friday, June Third, same goes for PE lockers. Get those cleaned out as soon as possible by Friday. You don't want any of your stuff to go missing. Tutoring is open Monday through Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. And if you are attending summer school, make sure you keep your Chromebook. Do not turn it in. You will turn it in at the end of summer school. And if you are not attending summer school, make sure you turn it in along with the charger. The student store will be open today but closed tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday will be the last day of the school year. It is open. And <laughs> seniors. seniors, which you're probably not even watching this, May 31st is Senior Sunset at 7.30 on the practice field. I am so excited to be there and just watch the sunset with uh, my June fellow classmates. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for cutting me off, Isaac. June 1st, we have our graduation practice at 8 a.m. and then graduation at 7.30. Isaac. Three years later and you're still cutting me off. <laughs> Never gets better. Um, there is a two hour early out and here is the schedule. Is it today? There's a two hour yeah. early out today? Yeah, there is a two hour early out today. And I'm not even going to be here. It's oh. coming. Guys, just give us. Been a, it was a long, take it was a yeah, long night a long for us day. seniors, so we're kind of just. There, there we, go. we go. Take a picture. Um, do all that fun stuff. All that little things you guys do with the schedule. Thank you for that. Uh, May 30th, there is no school because it is Memorial Day. And then June 3rd is the last day of school for grades 9 through 11. Ooh, today, mm -mm -mm, we are having a barbecue teriyaki bowl. Now, let's end over to weather. Hey guys, welcome back. And now let's dive into the four day forecast. Today is going to be a high of 88. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 84 and a low of 55. Sunday is going to be a high of 81 and a low of 52. And Wednesday, which is graduation, is going to be a high of 98. It's going to be very, very hot. So make sure you guys are hydrated for that. And yeah, let's send it to the seniors for the end of the show. Woo! I think Maddie knows what I'm going to say, <laughs> is when we were doing, I think it was our first live show, yeah. and she ripped her pants playing football, so. Um, I think my favorite memory is just being able to, like, be all together and, like, to do this show, but, like, do it with friends. We're really all close. We got really close in this class. Yeah. Just being able to do the news, make memories is really good. Um, I think that I would have to reiterate what Isaac says. I mean, we all kind of went through a struggle with maybe some things weren't working, some things were working, and we just kind of figured it out all together. It's not an easy class. It's not. <laughs> people <laughs> assume, oh, you just talk. More than just talking. I mean, people think they can do it. And if they think they can do it, I would love to see them try it because it is actually very tough. Challenge. And it may not be easy, but you can learn it. Like for me, this was my first year and I didn't know any of this stuff. And so now I know it, but it just takes a lot of time. You have to be patient with it and accept when things don't go right because it's going to happen and just try it out if you want. People. Everyone. This whole class. Like it's just a great atmosphere to be in and it's just it's a good experience. I think this class definitely helped me overcome shyness. Mm -hmm. made me a bigger person it's like this class actually helped me like come to the game today if it wasn't for this class who knows where i would have been. um so i feel like it <clears throat> made a better like whole person before like i talked to other people but it wouldn't i wouldn't be as outgoing and after taking this class since freshman a lot more outgoing i love talking I'll go. <laughs> um, learning how, like, if you make make a mistake, bouncing back from that and making it into something. The skills, I have honestly need to learn everything, but the most important skills, I would say, are leadership, because you can never go wrong with leadership in any other job. Even if you're not in a leadership position, it is good to learn leadership skills and communication. 
with your team and uh, making sure everything goes good. And then, like Sam said, public speaking. I feel like I can speak anywhere now in front of hundreds or a few people. I feel like I can speak really good now. Anyway, this is my favorite class yeah. of the day. Yeah. It's a great start to the day. So it was first period at eight o'clock in the morning. And we <laughs> right on be, camera. Yeah. We right walk in. We have to yeah. sleep. We have to be right. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're asleep, you gotta wake yourself up like that. And then people wonder why you're so energized. It's like, oh, because we just had HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great start to the morning. I'll be it, honest. Yeah. If it wasn't for this class, I would probably. Be uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to talk about just my seniors and my class. This is my favorite class. Uh, HQTV is is just a fun class. You know, I, I get to watch students um, come in and learn skills that they've never learned before. This isn't math or science or history where they have prior knowledge with anything. This is a skill set that they're learning as they go. And so this is a unique situation for me and a uniqueness as a teacher to watch kids truly learn new things. So I wanted to say thank you to my seniors. Um, you're all leaving me. <laughs> but uh, I'm just proud of watching the human beings, watching the people and young adults that you've became. And uh, I'm gonna miss you a lot. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah. Hello and good morning, Chapter High School, and welcome back to another great episode of HGTV Chapter High School's News Source. My name is Ed Correa. And I'm Maddie Taves, and today is March 7th, and here's what's going on in our general community. Episode of HGTV Chapter High School's News Source. I'm Nevaeh. And I'm Natalie. Today is May 23rd, and now let's take a look at what's going on in our general community. Hello, I am Javier Esparza, and I'm going to say today's and tomorrow's weather. Now let's send it over to Malia with sports. Hello and good morning once again, Chapter High. Hey guys, it's Sam, your meteorologist for today. Let's take a look at our Guys, <laughs> we had so many things going on and we we're so glad that you were with us the entire time. And on that note, Generals, have a great day and tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HPTV Chapter High School. And now let's go back to hyperspace. <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, this is the, this is the happy crying faces of everybody. Listen, we've enjoyed I've enjoyed being with these uh, great young adults for three years for some of them, a year for most, but it's been awesome. So, from our family to you guys, thanks for a great year. Finish strong with finals and. Uh, we have one more show left. It'll be with the rest of us, but it won't be with them. So have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend. And tune in Tuesday for the last episode of HQTV, Chapter High School's News Source.